welcome to Social We Media, straight talk about social multimedia. And I am real excited today because today I have two dear friends with me. I have Gina Carr and Terry Brock. And today we're going to be talking about social media, clout, and an upcoming book coming out that's called Clout Matters. And I can imagine you know what that topic is about, obviously, clout. So welcome, Gina and Terry. Thank you, Carly. Great to be with you. Great to and be here. And I, you know, so Gina is a wonderful social media strategist and consultant and speaker and author. And Terry, we're not going to forget to mention this time, besides, besides being an amazing strategist and author and speaker, because I'm not going to let him get away with that next this time. And um, we're going to be talking about just wonderful things. And I'm very excited to have them both back because I've interviewed them both separately. And um, I'm just really thrilled to have this conversation today. So welcome both of you, and I'm going to let Gina start this time because I just interviewed Terry. So welcome, Gina. <laughs> well, I'm happy to be here. Thank you so much, Carly. So why don't we start with a little bit about your aspirations into what was your inspiration behind starting actually with your, just, just your getting in the background of social media and what jazzed you about social media? Okay. Well, my um, previous business, I had a chain of community magazines in Atlanta. And these were very focused on specific communities. They were print magazines. And, and you know, quite frankly, uh, I, they were wonderful publications. They helped to strengthen those communities. And we would share the good news of what was going on specifically in that community. Uh, then as I learned about social media and the power of social media to be able to share good news throughout the world and in particular to share the cool things that a lot of my friends uh, were doing because a lot of my friends were speakers and authors and I knew they had such you know such fabulous information to share with people in the world um, that people could use social media to share this information for free uh, and reach people across the globe, millions and millions of people. It's just amazing the power of it and so that's what really attracted me to social media as a field. And also I know you're known as a, a, a great tribe builder and I know I've interviewed you way back over a year ago in Florida and we talked about tribe building. What is, your, what is the thing that really attracts you to tribe building? Well, I, I say that tribe building is helping passionate people build powerful tribes of raving fans. And so, you know, to break that down, I'm helping people who have a mission, who see a way that the world could be a better place. Um, and it's hard for people to do things alone. There's an old African proverb that goes, if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. So people need people to help them accomplish their goals, just like you're interviewing people through for your show. Um, you know a lot, but bringing in additional people, different points of view, uh, helps you to spread your message and to get your to accomplish your goals. So that's why I call myself the tribe builder because I like helping people do that. That's wonderful. And Terry, how do you see? And, and with that commonality of tribe building and speaking, as you both speak, wouldn't you say tribe building is a great way with speaking? I mean, you're building tribes and tribes of people and through social media using speaking as a way of doing that. Yeah, speaking is a way that you can uh, make sure that you connect with people wherever you are. You're providing really good training. You're providing really good information that people can use. And I think that that's uh, very important. And it ties in with a tribe because a tribe needs someone that can say, this is where we're going. Hey, everybody, come on with me. Here we go. Round them up and here we go. And you go that way. So you've got someone that's helping you out on that in the tribe. But the speaking is really communicating. And the beauty of what we're doing is like what you're doing right now, Carly. It's a delight to be with you. I really appreciate being here we're able to speak but it's a different technology we're using this technology there's a place for this there's a place for standing there in person there's a place for one-on-one uh, -on -one. and so I think it's all part of where we are today that really makes it spectacular to connect with people to provide good information they can use and to make sure we have that community that tribe what I was saying though is that when you're speaking though I find at least when I'm speaking that we're actually building tribes when we're spilled like the audience itself when we're speaking we're building tribes in the audience at least that's what I've experienced when we're on yeah. stage we're actually forming tribes in the audience and those tribes are actually going to follow us when we go to speak at other venues 
So that's what I was speaking about when I was saying forming tribes when we're speaking. Mm -hmm. Haven't you yeah, experienced I think so. that? I think there's different types of tribes, and the tribe that is formed when you're speaking, it's like a magical brigadoon type of event occurs <laughs> when you have that. It's like, okay, hey, it pops up and you've got a wonderful thing. That's why we love conferences. I mean, you and uh, us, we got a chance to meet at a conference. Right. And so we're there, but it, it continues on beyond that. And I think that's one of the things that a lot of people have said about social media. They say, well, social media isn't good. It's not really connecting with people. It's just a Facebook. It's not real. I go, whoa, 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 whoa. We've got people that we've been able to meet that are in different different locations geographically and it wouldn't be possible to physically get together every week but we can get together several times a week because of social media and particularly with tools like we're using right now and it's almost like being right there I mean we get to see each other through the wonders of Google Plus Hangout that we're using here Uvu or Skype or other tools that are available I think it's just wonderful to be alive today I agree and I know Gina, you use Google to you. You've used Google to uh, Hangouts before for clients, have you not? Or and Skype. Uh, I certainly have, and it's a great way to communicate. These are fabulous tools. Actually, tomorrow I'm presenting uh, from my home in Orlando to a group of uh, from the National Association of Women Business Owners in New Orleans. They're having a, a meeting, and I'm going to be beaming in and um, through Google Hangouts, and it's going to be just wonderful to share with them some of the secrets and keys for social media, and uh, I just get to stay right here. And so that's what I think that social media has brought together. I think social media and having these phenomenal technology tools that Terry and I just talked about in a previous interview is it has allowed us to teach from our homes social media and the technology that's out there to bring us all together from all over the world. And again, it is free and it's technology that's enabled us to literally teach, not necessarily it doesn't have to be a free form that we're teaching from, but we can teach with using free tools. So wonderful technology that we've had where we've been able to talk with Google Hangouts and people like in Africa would normally cost like so much money literally to dial to talk to someone in, in America where they can get on Google Hangout and it costs them nothing. So I'm really, I just think it's so amazing that we have technologies like Google Hangout or Terry, Gina, I can talk to someone in Africa and England and have calls with their clients and it's just amazing. So I, I know Terry and I did an amazing interview about technology, and I thought it was just brilliant. So where I'd like to go from here is I know the two of you have written an amazing book called what? Terry and Gina? What's it called? It's called Clout Matters. So I would love the two of you to share with us. Let's start with Gina. Where was the inspiration behind this book? Where did the inspiration come to write this book called Clout Matters? Hmm. Well... It came from being um, realizing and and believing that social scoring is going to be important because it's a very noisy world out there. And if you're just looking at um, somebody's Facebook uh, profile or their Twitter stream, it's hard to tell: is this person really influential? Is this person really knowledgeable about um, their topic? Uh, you know, what do they what do they know? And and if I as a as a marketer want to reach out to someone uh, who's knowledgeable and influential about a certain topic then how do I find those people and that's actually how I found clout I was working for an author who was in a very specific you know targeted area that we wanted to find people who were influential about that topic and how could we reach them how can we find them and and you can't just judge by the number of followers someone has on Twitter or the number of fans they have on Facebook because those things can be bought and you don't even if they're not bought you don't know how many people are actually really listening to and uh, acting on someone um, so when they when they say something online so that's how I discovered clout and I was really intrigued with it um, I have an industrial engineering background so very quantitative and um, then I have an MBA from Harvard so the whole marketing piece was you know putting those two together is a synthesis to be of you know the essence of what big data uh, clout score, uh, social scoring is, and uh, I just found that very fascinating. And Terry, what about for you? What really got you interested in writing a book about clout? 
Well, as I got into cloud, I like the idea of what it is. Cloud is more than just another new thing. There's all these uh, wonderful little uh, tools like, oh, you know, today it's Twitter, then it's Facebook. Oh, oh, and there's another shiny new object over there that we got to get into and all that. And after a while, we just get really confused with it. I like it because cloud really is the governing over all of this. It's kind of like um, the way to know if you're doing the right thing. If you're doing what's right and you're being a good social media citizen, clout will let you know that on a daily basis. Your, your score will go up or down. So it's a way to look at it. And I like the idea, of the meta, we use a lot of metaphors. One of the metaphors is we think it's a bit much like a BMI the body mass index. If you have someone who is grossly overweight, they're eating bad food, they're uh, consuming substances they shouldn't have, and they need to improve their health, they wouldn't go to the doctor and say, doctor, I really need to get a better BMI. And, you know, if we're going to fudge the numbers or, you know, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, we're going to make the BMI greater. We don't really care about that as much. What we do care about is your health, that your health will be better. And that's what cloud is. Cloud's the measuring to, uh, device. It's the tool that we use to make sure, are you doing things right to engage with people in a genuine, authentic way in social media? Are you able to connect with people and build your business? I mean, you could have a high cloud score and a low bank account, not a good thing. What you want is the high bank account that comes because you're doing the right things. And then, oh, by the way, your clout score will go up also. That's what got me excited about it, that it really is a way to make all of this happen and measure it and come together. Well, as Terry points out, it, it's a gauge, basically, and um, he uses the, the BMI. I, I'm a little more crass. I say it's more like a bathroom scale. So it's, it's, uh, you know, it's a good day when my bathroom scale goes down and my clout score, clout score goes up. That, that's a good day for me. We're talking about clout and we're talking about the importance of clout and really what it's all about. When you think, what is clout about? Clout is really not about a score. Some people think, well, it's about this score and the things you're doing there. Really, what it is, it's a matter of knowing how to do social media right. And the real key in it is engaging with people in an authentic, genuine way, providing information that they want, compelling content. And you need to do that in a consistent way. And so if you're doing that as a thought leader, as a coach, as a speaker, as an author, as someone who people go to for information, then you build a following. And you have to do it consistently over time. It's not something that's going to have a quick bounce to it that's going to stay there. It's going to come back down if you have a quick bounce on it. You want to stay with it. And really, that's what business is all about. Business is about meeting people's needs. And that's one of the things I like about clout and got me interested in it in the first place was that clout is a measuring stick. We use a lot of metaphors for it, but that as a measuring stick, it gives us the ability to know, are we doing the right thing in the right way consistently over time? And I find that that really, really is what it's about. Yes, I, I look at it as a tool that um, it's good for helping others to evaluate a person, as well as it's a great tool for evaluating yourself. And Terry likes to talk about this like a BMI, like a body mass index um, number, but it's also like a bathroom scale, which is a little more simple. So you know, it's a great day when my bathroom scale goes down and my class score goes up. Ooh, I like that one. That's a great analogy. Now, when is your book coming out, actually? It is slated for uh, publication in October 2013, so meaning that uh, in the first few days we're going to be looking at it. Right now it says in October the 18th. It could be a little bit before that, but you can go to Amazon and you can go over and type in Clout Matters and pre-order it right now, and that way you'll be able to make sure you get it when it's available. Oh, that was going to be my next question. Where could people go to pre-order it or order it? So you just answered my question for me. And where can people find you guys? Like where if someone wants to work with you or do consulting with you or get social media consulting. So where can people actually find you guys beyond cloutmatters.com? So as you know, they want to work with you individually, uh, is it just cloutmatters.com or can people find you? I mean, so where can people find you guys individually or together or, you know, all that? Well, probably the best place is each of our websites. Mine is ginacar.com. That's G-I-N-A-C-A-R-R.com. And Terry is, surprise. Terry at terrybrock.com is the email address. So guess what the website is? Terrybrock.com. It's T-E-R-R-Y. And Brock is spelled 
the right way, B-R-O-C-K. So here's even a bigger question. Not everyone knows what you guys do individually beyond cloutmatters.com. So could you guys share, let's start with Gina, what you guys do beyond cloutmatters.com? Yes, well, I help people use social media. I help um, business owners and thought leaders leverage social media so that they can get more profits and success. And that includes training people one-on-one -on -one and in groups, as well as facilitating uh, and supplementing their social media efforts. Uh, a lot of people want a company like hours to to help them with the heavy lifting you know they generate the content but we help them broadcast it out over the social channels so it's a managed services as well as a uh, training component great and Terry what do you wonderfully do besides speaking and beyond cloud matters well, the speaking, of course, is there. I write a lot. I do a lot of things in the form of communicating, helping people to understand technology and to solve specific problems. Blogging is a good example of what I do. So I'll do a lot of writing, putting things together, showing people how to do that. I did that with AT&T, where I was the chief enterprise blog, or I was the editor in chief there for their big blog. And then with Skype, I was the chief enterprise blogger and worked with a lot of blogging there and also do a lot of speeches. Hey, we live in Orlando. And so here in Orlando with conventions coming in, I'm often going over speaking and helping people to understand how do you make sense of all this technology stuff and how do you really make money with it, which when I went to business school, they said that was a good thing to do. So uh, we show people how to do that, have fun, and uh, make sure we can uh, show them ways they can put some money into their bank account, which I understand is a good thing. Absolutely. Well, as usual, you guys have been absolutely patient and a delight to have that. And I'm just really thrilled that your book, Clout Matters, is coming out. And I wish you all the success in the world. And I look forward, as usual, to having you both back or having you both separately, as I usually do, having you one time and another time and then together. <laughs> so I look forward to all your successes, and I look forward to having you again. And as usual, everybody, I always put together a page with the embedded podcast, the embedded video. And I love your feedback, so please leave, um, be sure to leave us some. And if there's any topic you'd love to hear back, hear about, please let me know. I love bringing you valuable content. And for tonight, I leave you. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you again real soon. So thank you, Terry. Thank you, Gina. It's been wonderful having you. And I really, truly look forward to seeing you again. Thank you, you so much. Thank you, Carly. Thank you so much. Great to see you, Carly. Take okay. care. Bye.